Friends, this is a fun Tinkercad bowling pen I created. Right now, we're going to set it up to print on the Bamboo Labs AMS 3D printer. So let's get cracking. Friends, this is the Tinkercad bowling pen I created. Whenever you create something in Tinkercad, it saves to the cloud. If you'd like to see the full tutorial, it's right here. At this moment, though, I'm going to show you how to tinker it. And I'm going to show you how to get it ready for multi-color printing. I'm going to take one of the pins and do Control D. And I'm going to nudge it out and I'm going to ungroup it. The first thing that we find is the inverse hole that made the shape. And we are left with the colored cubes that we cut with the inverse hole. Friends, this is so slick. We're going to do Control D and set one over here. And we're just going to simply cut the red pieces and the white pieces separately. So right now if I do Shift Select on these three items, do L for Align, make this one the boss, click and click. When we group that, you will see we have the red stripes for our bowling pin. Notice it popped in air. I'm just going to wait for that to finish, and we'll do it again. While it's doing that, I'm going to do Shift Select on these. So there's Shift Select on the three. Select this one, L for a line, and let's do Center and Center. And over here, I'm going to hit Group again. This one is not popping the air, and in a moment we'll have our bowling pin shape that is cut without those. I'm going to go back to this one and ungroup it, and now we can grab all those pieces again and group it, and most likely this time it will succeed. Bingo! I'm going to take all these parts and shift select them. It looks cooler when they're together. Make this one the boss and choose center and center. And let's export them for 3D printing. I'm going to click Export, STL. I'm going to save it in my 3D modeling folder, and this will be Bowling Pin White. And click Save. I had done it once before, so I'm going to just tell it yes. Now I can select the red pieces. Once again, I'm going to hit Export, STL. And I'm going to name this one Bowling Pin Red, so that way it's easier to keep track of when I bring it in to Bamboo Lab Studio. Now we need to move to Bamboo Lab Studio. I'm going to choose Create a New Project, and let's find our designs. Notice these are right at the top. I'm going to select them both and tell it OK. It is going to be a single object with multiple parts, and bam, it is in. With the shape loaded, I'm going to modify my colors. I added PLA, and I wanted to make sure that updated. Since this is updated, I can now go to Preview. And I simply want to sync the AMS. Now I can see the red that I'm going to use. We can move to the object mode. I'm going to click on the R and I simply want to change it to the red. Notice a couple clicks and bingo, that is complete. Because of the way this is going to print, I do not really care about how they merge. So I'm going to shut off the prime tower. That makes the print faster. To do that, we simply go back to global. I'm going to turn on advanced, switch to others, and we simply want to shut off the prime tower. Friends, that's all there is. Bamboo Studio is so slick. Let's hit slice plate. As you can see, it's going to take about 40 minutes. I think I'm going to scale mine down because I don't really need one of these. So I'm going to go back to prepare. I'm going to click on our design, hit the scale tool. Right now, it would have been 8 centimeters high, which is way bigger than I want. I'm going to take it all the way down to 40. Notice when I typed 40 millimeters, it scaled everything because I had the uniform scale selected. Once again, I'm going to hit slice plate. Now it's down to a 26 minute print, and we can simply hit print plate. Double check the colors. They look absolutely good. I'll leave the bed leveling AMS and time lapse on and let's send it to the 3D printer. After a moment, we bounce to the device menu. As you can see, it is downloading, which only takes a moment. Once it has completed, we can hit play and monitor everything from afar. And here we are. <laughs> a few minutes later, we have got a epic Tinkercad bowling pin printed on the Bamboo Labs P1S. How cool is that? Friends, as I wrap up, I do want to take a moment to remind you about my website, 
hlmodtech.com. I've got a tab dedicated to Tinkercad. Below that, you'll find tons of amazing categories. Also, the day one favorites, the useful starters, and the Tinkercad essentials. If you scroll down a little bit further, you will find my course, Tinkercad in 20 Days, which is hosted on cadclass.org. This video will teach you all about it. And of course, there's a sweet coupon code that'll get you 25% off any of the amazing courses on the site. Of course, you can use this link right there to visit in minutes. Finally, friends, don't forget the sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your question, comment, or suggestion, and reach me almost instantly. Lastly, friends, I do also want to highlight the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are a boatload of members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. Finally, friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget to absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.